Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Wade. I am Professor of Computational Structural Biology at Heidelberg University. I lead the Molecular and Cellular Modeling Group at Heidelberg Institute for Theoretical Studies, otherwise known as HITS, which is located on Schloss Walswillenweg, not far from Heidelberg Castle. HITS can be reached by bus number 30, car, bike or walking. Let's take a look at where we work. Here are our offices, workstations and people with a fabulous view of the garden. The main computers for our simulations are located in server rooms and we use resources at supercomputing centers in Germany and abroad too. Let's take a look at what we do in our research. In my research group we study how proteins interact with their molecular binding partners, other proteins, drug molecules, nucleic acids or inorganic surfaces. So, for this example, we could ask, with our simulations, how quickly do these molecules associate? Or, what structure do they form? Perhaps also in complex with another protein to make a structure like this one, where we can see the three proteins and even a small molecule bound. The interactions are fundamental to protein function and influenced by many factors such as the folding of a protein or the crowded environment of a cell. We develop computational methods to model and simulate proteins and their interactions and we apply these to study basic research questions in molecular and systems biology as well as for structure-based drug design and protein engineering. One of our aims is to gain a mechanistic, molecular-level understanding of drug interactions along the process extending from drug delivery to drug target binding to drug metabolism. Methodologically, we combine physics-based simulation techniques, molecular dynamics and Brownian dynamics, with bioinformatic, chemoinformatic and machine learning approaches. Let's look at it an example. Here we see a 3D printed model of a protein. This is the structure that has been determined by X-ray crystallography. In reality, this protein has a length of about 3 nanometers, so that's about 100 million times smaller than the length of this model. This protein is a kinase that is the target of anti-cancer drug design. You can see a nice crevice here, the active site, that looks like it could accommodate a low molecular weight inhibitor. So we can try to virtually screen for compounds to bind in this cavity using molecular modeling and docking approaches. Here is a compound, but if I try to fit it in the cavity, you see it does not fit, even though in fact this is an inhibitor of this protein. In order to be able to predict that it binds, given this structure, we have to consider that the protein is not rigid like this model, but flexible. Its dynamics are essential for enzymatic activity and we can see here a different structure of the same protein in which this molecule fits in nicely. In particular, we can see that there have been some adjustments of the amino acid side chains as well as the backbone that open the binding site. We develop computational methods to predict these motions. We have implemented these in our TRAP, Transient Pockets in Proteins web server the web server incorporates methods to sample the dynamics of protein binding sites, analyze them and assess their drug ability using a machine learning method. The motions of proteins also influence the thermodynamic and kinetic parameters characterizing the binding of compounds to proteins. These need to be optimized in drug design. One focus of our current work is to develop methods to compute the kinetic parameters, the on rates and off rates, for binding to proteins. The Tau RAMD, Random Acceleration Molecular Dynamics method, for example, allows us to efficiently simulate how molecules leave their binding sites on proteins to compute dissociation rates. For this, we accelerate the egress process by many orders of magnitude so that we can observe many egress events and from these not only compute dissociation rates but also investigate dissociation mechanisms and therefore obtain insights that help us design more active molecules. If you're interested in joining us for an internship or a bachelor's or master's thesis project, you might work on the development of computational methods. In this case, it is important to have some prior programming experience, for example in Python. On the other hand, you might work on an application problem, such as simulating a membrane protein involved in drug metabolism or neurotransmission, 
or docking compounds to identify enzyme inhibitors. Here, theoretical knowledge in structural biology and molecular simulation is helpful, as is familiarity with the Linux operating system. Information about how to apply for an internship to do thesis research or for a job in the Molecular and Cellular Modeling Group can be found on our website. Thank you.